On this video, I'll be discussing physical therapy for back pain and sciatica. There are two types of physical therapy, passive therapy and active therapy. Passive therapy is things done to you, such as electrical stimulation, ultrasound, ice, laser therapy, and other modalities. Passive therapy is intended for short-term relief of pain, inflammation, and muscle spasm. Active therapy is things done by you. And this would include a variety of exercises that are intended to increase long-term flexibility, strength, endurance, and spinal stability. These are worthy goals, but the long-term effectiveness of physical therapy is often limited for one simple reason. Exercises must be continued on a regular basis for life to continue being effective, but people who go through physical therapy tend to discontinue their exercises shortly after being released from the physical therapist's care. In many cases, physical therapy is carried out in facilities with expensive equipment that patients may not have access to after they are released from care. If you do undergo physical therapy, I strongly recommend that you talk to the physical therapist about teaching you proper exercises that you can do using simple equipment at home like exercise balls, exercise tubings, and just a simple stretching mat. Once you know what to do on your own when the time comes, the remaining challenge is to do it. I recommend setting aside a specific time that you can do your exercises every day so it becomes part of your normal daily routine. If you need help learning what exercises you can do to recover from and prevent low back pain and sciatica, click on the on-screen button that appears at the end of this video or on the link below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.